Hi everybody, I'm Janine and I'm the Baby Bunny Guru. And today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly make some high quality milk replacer for your baby bunnies. So you're gonna need a few things here. Um, this is filtered water, it's about a third cup, and I've warmed it um, for about 20 seconds in the microwave, so it's just barely warm. We don't want it hot, because we don't wanna ruin the vitamins in the milk. So you're gonna need some tools. Your tools are a half cup measure, a tablespoon, teaspoon, quarter teaspoon are your tools. Okay, so we're going to start by um, using Espelac goat milk for puppies. This is a milk replacer that is very easy for your babies to digest. And I'm gonna measure out um, a teaspoon of powder and a second teaspoon of powder. Okay, so I'm gonna just make enough for one feeding. You'll have to adjust this according to how many rabbits you have and how much milk you need. So it's approximately gonna be one milliliter of milk for every ounce of body weight for your rabbits. And you have to multiply that by how many rabbits you have. Okay, so I begin with two teaspoons of the powder. I then add a little bit of the Benny Back Plus probiotic powder. This is always a little tricky because you don't need very much. I'm using a quarter teaspoon and I'm just using a crescent amount. So if it's about a quarter of a quarter teaspoon. So I say that's 1 16th of a teaspoon if you can figure out how to measure that out. Um, and then I'm gonna mix the powder and the milk powder together because this keeps the probiotic from lumping and it also helps get lumps out of your powder, your formula. Now, after I've done that, I'm now gonna add the warm water. And I need two teaspoons of water for every one teaspoon of powder. So I'm gonna do four of these. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this. And because the water's just slightly warm, it helps to dissolve the lumps. Okay, now when I'm sure I've got all my lumps dissolved, um, the next step is I need to fatten the milk a little bit. And the, the content of fat in your um, milk replacer for puppies, it needs to be much higher for a bunny rabbit. So the way I do that, because I'm working with goat milk, I'm keeping all my components goat milk related. Goat milk is very easy for your baby bunny to digest. So I, I couldn't find goat fat, but I have found goat milk yogurt. So this not only has some nice probiotics in it, but on the very top of my yogurt is a layer of fat. And I'm just gonna skim the fat off the top because that's what I really want for my milk. I don't actually need the yogurt, I need the fat. So I've just scraped just the little bit of top fat off and I'm putting that into the milk, which is now dissolving into the warm mixture. And it liquefies very quickly. Now the temperature is just barely over room temperature, but it's enough to dissolve the ingredients so that there are no lumps in either the yogurt or the formula powder. Okay, now this can be saved in a Ziploc bag and put in the refrigerator, and this also has to be refrigerated. The last component of my milk is actual goat milk. So I always go to the health food store and get this out of the refrigerated um, area of the store. Don't use carton milk unless it's a last resort. Again, you're trying to get the freshest milk possible with the highest fat possible. And I'm using one tablespoon of this. Okay, so this is one whole serving. Um, and I have to sometimes double and triple this if I'm making up the milk for a large litter, or if I wanna make multiple servings throughout the day. Okay, so the milk is now made, but it has to be warm to the temperature of the baby bunnies. So to do that, I'm going to use a measuring cup, and I'm going to put warm water from the faucet in this. Now that way, my water isn't too hot. I don't wanna cook the milk in the microwave because that will damage the properties. Always when you're warming your milk, 
use warm water and you want to create like a double broiler system. So a paper clip is, or um, clothespin is really helpful. So I'm going to set this on top of the water. And I have too much water in there, so I'm just going to pour it in there. And just let the two sit like this for about five minutes. And if my lower water is warm enough, um, this will be ready to feed in a couple minutes. If it's not warm enough, I might have to dump this out, fill it again, and do this twice. I'm going to check the temperature of the milk by um, just taking a little bit out, putting it on my wrist. And if it feels warm, it's ready to go. And if it feels cold, then we have to repeat this process until the milk is warmed. Okay, and um, from there, we're gonna go with our feeding tools. Okay, so what tool are we gonna use to feed our baby today? Here we have some nipples and syringes. So I'm using a 3cc syringe and a miracle nipple. And the nipples need to be sized according to how big your babies are. So um, that's a whole nother video. So we'll get to that shortly. Okay, so that is how to make your baby's milk. Um, any unused portion of the milk, you can refrigerate for up to about 16 to 18 hours. After that, dump the milk and just start over again. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Thanks.